It's Mr. Burley at St. Elizabeth Catholic School. We're going to model a car today using Fusion 360 uh, standard model mode rather than the sculpting mode. Uh, in this particular case we're going to do a Jeep. I have already gone in orthographic projections under Google Images, found a Jeep, and then what I did is I cropped the top front and side views so that I can bring it in. So the first thing we do is bring in our canvas. I'm going to select, I'm going to put the side face first, I'm going to put it on this one. I'm going to select the image. And that's the side image. I'm going to leave the size just the way it is. Now I'm going to bring in the front view. Select the front view. I'm going to put it on this face. And then I'm going to bring in the front view. Now, if you come in here, you're going to notice it's probably a different size, not quite the same, which is the case. Um, so what I'm going to do is here is I'm going to come in and I'm going to hold the shift key down and I'm going to rotate around so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to shrink him down so that he's roughly the same size. Now this takes a little practice and playing around with to get it perfect. I'm not going to worry about it for today's episode. Click OK. Now the front view. You can see there's your front view. It's actually that way. And there's your side view. So when you're sculpting the car, what you do, or the truck, the first thing you do is you sculpt one piece at a time. Don't try to don't try to draw every little component and then extrude it. Rather than that, do this. Let's do the rough body. I'm going to do a much better, much simpler job than what you're going to do. You're going to take your time. You're going to follow all these little lines, these little contours, so you get it perfect. I'm just going to do a rough sketch to demonstrate the purpose or the, or the process. So we're going to go from here to something like this, across here like that. And again, you would follow this really nicely, and all the angles and everything would be correct. I'm not going to worry about it so much myself. And I'm going to come back here, and I right-click here, press pull, and I have the side of the truck. And if you go to the right view, you can see how far front view. You can see how far out to pull that. So let's pull it out so it's roughly the edge there. Click OK. Again, I'm just doing this much rougher than you would. Now we're going to put a wheel on it. So we're going to go click this. We're going to sit on this face here. I'm going to sit on this guy right here to do my wheel. Create the sketch. Circle diameter. Come in here. I'm going to find the center of the wheel roughly there. Looks like it's roughly the center. I'm going to come out. Quick stop sketch. Right click. Press pull. I'm going to select both of them. Zoom out a bit so I can see it better. And I'm going to start pulling them out. Now you want to see how far I have to pull them. You just go to the right view, or sorry, the, I guess the front view, and you can see how far that that's supposed to be pulled. And you can see if you wanted to, you can click on the inside and drag it in that way too. To, if you want to sculpt it as perfect as you can. So that looks about right. And I click OK there. Now I'm going to, you can do a better job here. You're going to go in and you're going to do the same method and you're going to sculpt everything. You're going to draw the little hinges. You're going to, you can come in here and we can do a flint fender flare. I'll show you the fender flare right now. We'll click this. The fender flares would just be dead simple, something like along like this. Whoops. I made a mistake there. Let me stop this guys. Undo that. Let me try that again. Not sure what I did there. So great sketch. Sit on this face. I the face I want to draw on. Their drawing tool. Again. You do a better job than this. You come up across here, here, go back down to here, from here to here. I'm just going to extend that just a bit down below there. Just because it's grabbing on the other line. Right click, press pull. I'll shift it over so you can see what we're doing. Press pull it out. It's cutting. I don't want to cut it. I want to create a new body. I like to do this over on that note. Make new bodies for everything so that everything's a different piece. So you can go back and modify them easier later and a bunch of different reasons you can do that. So if you go to the front view, you can see how far to bring the fender flare. So I mean, the kids all like their big wheels sticking out. It's illegal, but you see somewhere along that lines. Okay. Now Go back in here. Notice I'm only doing half the vehicle. That's because we're going to mirror image the thing afterwards. Now, I would expect you to come in and do more detail. Make these better. Take, you know, this probably takes you an entire class to do just a just a fender flare to get right. And then the wheels. You can put radiuses on the wheels. Let's go in and define the wheel a little bit more. And I click sketch, create sketch. I can do the center of the wheel for this. Click center. 
circular diameter, come in here somewhere in that neighborhood, come out, stop sketch, rotate the model, press pull it, this time I'm going to cut, drag it down, click OK, now I've got my thing, I can come in here and I can modify, I can put a fillet right here on this edge, make it look more realistic like a, like a wheel. Take your time, like I said, model the edge of the tire. Well, tires aren't square like that. Have a look at a tire and see what it looks like and try to model it the same way. Now, let's go to the right view. I'm going to put in one of these little cutouts. So we're going to create sketch. We're going to sit on that face. We're going to draw these lines here. Again, if you look down, you see these are radiuses. I'm just going to do a straight line for this purpose. I right click. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to circular pattern. And I'm going to select the center point, which is going to be here. And I'm going to select the objects, which is this this one. And there's five of them on this circle. So we're going to put five, not eight. Five. Not 85. Five. And then you click OK. And you can see those. And now what we do is we would cut them through. So click this one. Hold your control key down. Select them all. Right click, press pull, and we're going to cut, and we're going to grab this arrow guy and pull him right through, and click OK, and now you can see I've started to define the, the wheel. And again, the wheel is something, it's, there's a lot of detail there. You can draw, you can extrude out again, you can cut this thing back so it's on a radius, you do a nice job. You come in here, you can put your draw your axle going through it, so you can, there's all kinds of detail in this truck. That, that would be a lot of fun to do. Uh, the next thing we're going to do, once you, you notice I'm only doing one side, what we do is you, you model the whole entire one side of the vehicle. In this mode, you need to, it, in, unlike sculpting mode, it will, it will do it for you. It will, whatever you do on this side, it will do on the other side and keep it symmetrical, but this mode won't. So what we're going to do here now is I want to mirror image it over. So I'm going to hold the control key down. I'm going to select all the things that I want to mirror. I don't really need to mirror those, but let's, the mirror and the sketch, I guess I don't. But let's do all this stuff. There's probably a way to select all faster. I used, I used to be able to click up here and have it all select, but for some reason it's not. Sketch, uh, no, create. You come into mirror, and you select. So there's six features selected, and mirror plane. You have to select the mirror plane. I want that right there because I want to flip it on the other side. And you click OK, and now you can see I've got a full vehicle. So that's the process for this one. A little easier than the sculpt, a little bit, little bit uh, less, uh, uh, less. I don't know. I guess um, ability to do things. This is a little more rigid, but for this particular application, it works fine.